All right, y'all, this is the blog I've been promising you for so long. We are going to talk about how to drive in Barbados. You ready? Here's five tips, things to really keep in mind. Now, I am not an expert. Let me just start off by saying that, all right? But driving in Barbados is really hard. It's not just a matter of staying on the left side. I thought that's all it was, and I thought I was good the first day because I pretty much conquered that, but no. It is a whole other thing, and I actually feel like it'd probably be helpful for people to have like a video like this when they're about to take on this, this journey, because it is a journey. I'm about a month in and I think I'm just starting to feel like, okay, I think you got this. I think you might actually be a good Barbados driver. Number one, the roundabouts. So let's start with the two lane roundabout. If you are in the left lane, you are going left or straight around the roundabout and continuing on the road to go straight. All right, important thing to keep in mind if you're in a two lane. If you're in the right lane, you are either going straight or you're continuing around the roundabout to take a right or almost U-turn basically. That sounds simple enough, right? People don't explain it simply, not everyone. <laughs> but my best advice I could give you is to take your time because there's a ton of cars coming around two lanes and a roundabout. And so you almost have to wait. There's no stoplights. You have to wait to see when's your time. Like, can I go in like double dutch? Am I going in now? Oh, now. All right, so just take your time because if you do that wrong, you ask for a bad accident. Here's another point to that note. And when you get to the end of the roundabouts, when you're going through, let's say we're going straight and I go around that roundabout and I'm continuing on the road. Right when you get out the roundabout, there's a walkway for pedestrians, y'all. Yes. So make sure you keep your eyes out just in case someone's crossing because that's another way there could be a horrible accident, all right? That is the most important point in this whole video, okay? The roundabouts. You conquer that, you've conquered like half of it. There's a three lane roundabout usually, and I would encourage you to look more into this. The left lane is to go left, the middle one is to go straight, and I think the right one is to go either straight or around. Another thing to keep in mind with the roundabouts is that whoever's in the roundabout has the right of way. That's why you should let it it clear until you see a good space to get into. But once again, look into it, all right? Don't let me be the reason why you get into an accident, but now you know at least what you need to look into. Number two, there's a sign that says give way. And I saw this sign, I was like, what does give way mean? I don't know what that means. <laughs> and now to me, it makes perfect sense. But I guess if you know, if you're not culturally like used to that, you're like, what the heck is give way? Give way is like, stop. Well, let the person to the right go in front of you, basically. And that's what I was told. The, the people to the right have the right away. So that's what give way means. Look out for the person to the right, let them go. If it's clear, you can go. Okay, so for the roundabouts, what you have to do is whatever cars are in the roundabouts, they get the right away. Mm -hmm. So you stop right here at give way, wait to see if there's any cars coming, no cars coming. Those cars are coming, but we can pull ahead of them, you see that? And continue in the roundabout. This is kind of access their like stoplights. Number three, if you are on the highway, and once again, you wanna pay attention to the signs, the arrows on the road, but if you are in the left lane, I mean, you're looking to go straight, you wanna stay in the left lane because in the right lane is where they're turning, you know, off to the right. In the left lane is where they're turning off to the left, but also staying straight. So if you're staying straight on the highway, you wanna stay in the left lane. Okay, so when I say highway, their highways don't look like US highways. Their main roads, I guess they're equivalent to like a main road for us, but are they treated like our highways not exactly because there'll be people walking on the highways they definitely drive slower on the highways and it might be like just two lanes one lane this way one lane that way there's one highway that i saw that i think was three lanes on each side but i just can't remember which one it is so if you're on the highway which looks like a main road it's just like driving in the u.s you have the right of way anybody turning on has to wait for it to clear before they turn on now the only thing i will say i've i've noticed someone in the comments correct me if i'm wrong but for some of these roads that are highways and some of them really just look like streets so i was so confused when people were saying go to the highway or turn on the highway i'm like where's the highway i haven't seen a highway yet but those are highways so for those highways that look like streets if it doesn't say stop or give way you can continue on the road you will always stop at a roundabout keep that in mind but aside from the roundabouts if it does not say stop or give way or there's obvious sign there you can continue on the road and it's the people who are coming in so even if you're turning it might look like wait i should probably stop here because there's a road that way and then i can turn this way and maybe there looks like there's something off that way you are on the main road you are on the highway once again so you have the right of way and people have to wait for you next point did i say that there weren't stoplights there actually are stoplights i'm sorry but sparingly very very few so look out for those <laughs> 
<laughs> because for me, while I was driving, I was thinking, okay, there's no traffic lights. So I'll just, you know, I wasn't looking for them. And then all of a sudden, I think it was heading to Bridgetown. There's one on the right side, like all the way over there. I'm not looking over there because I'm in this lane, the left lane, but um, I almost drove through it. Mm -hmm. Don't judge me. So look out for those traffic lights. They happen more so, I think, in Bridgetown. Once again, if you know where else they are, like drop it in the, the comments below so everybody knows. Okay, this next point is for, and there's so many more, so stay tuned. This is only part one, but this is my last point. This is for my New Yorkers, because I kept asking this question and I think people were like, why? <laughs> <laughs> but parking, in New York, we're so used to there not being parking. We have to pay for parking. Parking is like a whole thing that requires much more time and effort and figuring out before you get somewhere. But just like all other states, etc., parking is usually right there next to the location. And I know some people are like, duh, of course. But the reason why I didn't think this was true is because the first couple of places I was going, which were in Bridgetown, did not have parking. I had to go look for parking. It was very similar to the New York experience. So I kind of just assumed that the way most places Places were like at least the city like places but that is not the case so that is my final point I hope that this helps you if you are have been to Barbados have drove in Barbados and you have any more points that you want to drop below and share with us go ahead and drop them below because we need it I probably need it as well because every time I go out it's been like over a month there's still surprises where I'm like oh this okay learn something new but this is not for the faint of heart y'all like I would highly recommend if you know locals have them take you out onto the road and show you how to drive narrow their mindset and thought process as they're driving and then hop in the passenger seat with you as you are driving. I had to do that a couple of times with different people and it was so helpful. That's my personal advice to you guys driving in Barbados. I hope this was helpful. If you enjoyed this video, guess what? I got another one right here. Yes, go ahead and check that out. Click on it. It'll be, it'll be a good time.